What's up, people? Thank you so much for all the love you guys have given me. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate that. For the YouTube, we finally hit over our 100 subscriber. I know it's not a big number, but it's a good accomplishment for me. Let's keep those like and subscribe going. For the Facebook, we are almost up to 1500 likes and subscribe. Let's keep sharing the video. Let's keep on getting more and more like. Let's get me more motivation. Get me more uh, more recipes you guys want to see me make. Um, so we can have more and more food coming your way. Now for today's recipe, I'm actually making a recipe that everyone has been asking me to make. Um, I'm gonna make you guys uh, some naan. Now today I'm gonna be making garlic naan, but by, when I'm going through the recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make just regular naan. If you're not eating garlic naan, or if you don't eat garlic, if you just want to see me make regular naans, I'll show you the steps where you can, the things that you can skip to make regular naan. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the garlic naan. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do for our recipe for garlic naan is we're gonna let our yeast, we're gonna get our yeast ready. I'm, um, I'm using the dry yeast. So using a dry yeast, we need to get it ready. So what we're gonna do is I have some lukewarm water here. Now with the lukewarm water, I'm gonna go ahead and add about, um, about two spoons of sugar in there. Um, once I add the sugar in there, I'm gonna give it a good mix. And once I give it a good mix, I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, add my dry yeast to it. Once I add my dry yeast, um, we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and then the, uh, then the yeast is gonna be ready. Alright guys, so this is how you want your yeast to be. This is your yeast ready. Um, you want it to be fluffy like this. The reason for that, this is what gives the fluffiness to the naan. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and mix the load in a big pan like this. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to let it sit for about, uh, about 3 to 4 hours before I start cooking. Now, the reason for using a bigger pan is because when you're letting it sit in a wet towel, it's going to start expanding and your load is going to be very, uh, very fluffy. Uh, load is flour for the people that doesn't speak Hindi, doesn't speak Gujarati. Now, uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to start mixing all the ingredients to make the, uh, make the atta, to make the, uh, the flour, uh, to make the dough. Now, this is the step that you can skip if you are someone who does not eat garlic or doesn't like the strong flavor of garlic. You can skip adding the garlic to it, but for what uh, for me, since I'm making garlic naan, what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to go ahead and add a good amount of garlic paste. Now I'm using one big spoon, uh, let's say one and a half big spoon that I'm going to be using for the garlic paste. Now with that, um, on top of the <clears throat> on top of the yeast, uh, I'm also going to be adding some fresh yogurt to it. Uh, now the reason for adding yogurt it's because uh, yogurt would give you that sourness and it would also um, ferminate the, the flour a little bit more too so your dough would become very very smooth and very very fluffy. Now I'm adding about three spoons of yogurt in there. Now again I'm making food for about 10 to 15, uh, about 7 to 8 people tonight. Um, if you're making food for less people then you don't you probably want to add less stuff to it. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add salt to taste. The next step I'm doing is going to go ahead and add some ghee. So adding about three big spoon of ghee. And that's my sister and my nephew here in the background. They're so excited to eat the garlic naan. Um, now, once I add all of this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a good mix and then add our yeast with it. We want to make sure that we have a smooth flour. The flour that I'm using, um, I'm using maida. Um, Maida, um, you don't have to use maida. I mean, traditionally it's made with maida. You can use wheat flour if you want to, but uh, 
uh, usually wheat flour it doesn't taste uh, it doesn't taste as good when you're uh, trying to fermentate the wheat flour yes it's healthier uh, but it's just not gonna have the same taste of the of the naan all right and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and add yeast to it And I'm going to need my dough out of this. And when you knead the dough, you want to make sure that it's very smooth, very consistent. <clears throat> and make sure that there are no, um, uh, there are no knots in it. All right, guys. So this is how you want to knead your, uh, your dough. Uh, this is pretty much almost done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a circle of it, put just a tiny bit of ghee on top of it and then I'm going to add my uh, uh, damp towel to it. So I'm adding about one spoon of ghee and uh, after that I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and put my damp towel on it uh, and then we're going to let it sit for about four to five hours. Um, I'm making this for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna let it sit um, for about another minimum three to four hours, um, and then uh, we'll go out and start making naans. All right, guys. So it's been about four hours or so, and as I said, the reason why I'm using a bigger, um, uh, bigger pan for uh, for making the dough, it's because if you remember, this is how it has expanded. This is how much it has expanded. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and give it a, a good toss and then we're going to start making the naans. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do, I need my dough uh, just like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making um, the naans from it. So I'm going to take a good big bowl and I have some dusting flour here. Uh, with dusting flour, I have some um, green chilies, some chopped uh, chopped cilantro, some kalonji, and then I'm also going to use some red uh, red pepper as well. Now, what I'm doing to make my naan, um, I'm using a non-traditional recipe for it. Um, I'm going to bake it. So um, what we're doing is I'm going to make it in the oven. We're going to make our um, we're going to make our oven. Uh, we're going to preheat the oven at 400, uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit um, on on uh, on broil. The reason why we're doing broil it's because broil would give you heat coming from top and normally when you make the uh, normally when you make the naan um, in a tandoor um, the tandoor has uh, uh, the, the top part of the naan usually gets uh, um, gets the heat going on there so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use broil at 400 degree Fahrenheit we're gonna keep an eye on it and uh, that's how we're gonna be uh, baking our naan now for making a naan what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a round chapati just a tiny one now on that I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, green chilies to it now the naan I'm making is a, is a spicy naan, spicy garlic naan. We already have enough garlic that's added to the naan, so we don't have to add more garlic. Um, you can um, have additional garlic to it if you want to. If you don't add um, if you don't add garlic at the time of kneading your dough, you can also add garlic at that time as well. Now I'm also going to use some fresh, uh, I mean a crushed paper as well. And on top of that, I'm just going to go ahead and add just a tiny bit of kalonji. And now at this point, I'm going to roll it again into a thin bread. Uh, for naan, it doesn't have to be a specific shape. You can make it on, a, on any shape that you want to. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this naan. Now again, I'm using um, I'm using um, aluminum pan. Reason for using an aluminum pan it's because um, 
even heat and it gets heated much quicker too so since we're using broil i'm using an aluminum pan so we get even heat on the bottom as well now i just stretch the naan out to the shape i wanted and now it has a shape of a naan now i'm not making big naans um, i like to so the naan that i have rolled up just because we bake um, we let it sit enough uh, it's going to um, it's going to be soft naan anyways so I'm, uh, I'm making it in the size of a chapati. It's not very thick naan. Um, but when the naan comes out, it's going to be like the naan you get outside. I'm going to show you one more time very quick on how to make your naan, how to roll your naan. And then we're going to go out and put it in the oven, let it get baked, and I'll show you the next step. Now I'm using um, just the green chili and uh, red chili and uh, cilantro and uh, kalonji. You can use, uh, you can be creative. You can use any topping you want to. You can add some cheese to it as well if you want to do that. Um, but this is how the traditional naans are made. So I try to keep it as traditional as possible. The red chili is my own twist on it. But normally uh, when you get the naan from a hotel or when you get a naan at a daba, they would just add green chilies and cilantro and kalonji. And here we go. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and bake it for about uh, 10 minutes and once it gets baked I'm going to add some, um, um, I'm going to go out and add some uh, butter to it and then uh, put it in the oven for about another 2 or two minutes or so as well. Alright guys so it's been about 10 minutes since I had my, uh, my naan in there. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to butter the naan a little bit. Um, you can see that the color is getting perfect already. Now I'm using the white butter. Um, uh, non-salted white butter uh, you can use the amul butter the salted butter if you want to now when we were making the naan we had added enough salt to it so i don't if you use a salted butter uh, make sure that uh, you compensate for uh, uh, compensate on the salt for using the salted butter so you don't make your naan too salty now i'm going to butter both of my naans with the white butter and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to let it sit for like let just a minute a quick minute in the in the oven and then our naan is going to be ready <clears throat> so now at this point i'm going to go ahead and put it back in the in the oven for just a quick minute and we're good to go all right guys so it's been about a minute i kept it in the oven for a minute as you can see the naans are ready um, I'm having my naan with my butter paneer, my very first video recipe that I made. Um, please check out, there is already, there was my very, very, very first recipe. That's what got me started. Um, so check out my butter paneer recipe. That's what I'm going to have my garlic chili naan with. Um, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Again, as I said, uh, keep liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate all your help. Thank you so much. Food is ready, not waiting on you. Thank you and stay safe.